Hello everyone. So today I'll be showing some new logics uh, to show the demonstrate the functionality of Arena using our simple manufacturing process that we built for our drilling workstation. So the first logic we would like to define is the created entity will enter and then 80% of them will be of part type B and rest of them will be part type A. And we would like to run our model for four hours. So how to include that in Arena? So I'll go ahead and open my existing model one in Arena for the simple process that we created earlier. So as you can see, through this create module, parts are getting created. And then through this drilling process, they're getting processed and then they're leaving the system. Now we are saying that this arriving part can get splitted into two stream. Let's say part A and part B. So how to define it using attribute and assign module. So if you have your basic process on, so you'll find the data module called attribute. So we'll double click on it. And then we'll create an attribute called my part type. my part type and it's better not to keep space when you are giving name to your variable and then our attribute because then you'll have lesser chance of making mistakes when you are referencing them in inside your module or anywhere all right and then row and column we won't initialize it to some value all right next let's make some space for an assign module which we will need to assign this attribute to the created part so i'll just take off this connection from the input output side of the create module and input side of the process module i'll place this module down here and then i'll select my create module and get an assign module from basic process panel and then it automatically creates attached to the create module. And then I'll add the output of this assigned module with the input of the process module. All right. So I'll do an assignment over here. Let's say entity. So what is our entity over here in this system? Parts. But after this so part entity will get created and after it passes through this assigned module before reaching to the process module this part will be further split into two categories of entities part a and part b we can do it using decide module however i want to show the functionality of assign module and how we can do it using it instead of using a decide module all right so double click on the assigned module and go ahead and name the module as assign part features. Because over here, we are just defining different types of feature for our entities. So the first feature is what kind of part it is. So over here, we'll see assignment. So go ahead and add, click add. And then what type of assignment? We want to do an assignment on its attribute. We created an attribute called my part type. So I'll just select that. And over here, it says one. So what does this one represents? When an entity is getting in here, my part type attribute will be one for every entity, but it's not true. For us, we have to define that 80% of the arriving entity will be part B and the rest part A. So how to do that? right click on your uh, mouse and then select build expression over here we will go to random distribution and select discrete probability see over here it says it's a cumulative probability and values function so we say it like part b would have 80 percent of probability of coming to the system and part a will have a chance of 20%. All right, so let's clear this up completely and then assign one by one. 
So probability of getting part A is 20% or 0.2. And then I'll put a comma here. Value, I'll put one. Instead of part A, I'll just put one over here. So one represents part A, two represents part B. Instead of string, we are just assigning numerical values. All right, comma, and then one, and then two. Why did I put one instead of 0.5? Because it, 0.8, because it's a cumulative probability function. That's why. All right, select OK, and then click OK. So now we have done, we have made an assignment to the incoming entities. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's save this file as model one advanced. All right. And then we have to run it for four hours. So where I can do that, I have to go to my run tab and select setup. And over here, it says 20 minutes. Now I'll just change it to four hours. Rest remains same. Number of replication, hour, base time unit, rest of the things remain same. And then I'll click OK. And then again, save it. And then I'll run my model. So as we can see, we can't see it basically. However, after this module, parts are getting splitted between entity type A and entity type B. OK. So that concludes the first logic. Our second logic is basically in context of animation. So we say that we have splitted parts into part type A and part type B. For better visualization, we are going to assign picture for part A and picture for part B. How to do that? That's our next logic. So I'll go back to arena. And over here, I will go to set data module. In set data module, I will create a new set and name it my picture set. And then in type, we can set different resources together or counter, tally, entity type. However, this time we are set grouping entity pictures for part A and part B. So we'll select entity picture. And then we have to define the members manually. All right, before doing that, let's go ahead and see how we can edit picture for entities. All right. So here we see a new data module called picture. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and assign two new picture values. So double click over here. Let's just name it picture dot part a and picture dot part b all right and then let's go ahead and save the file then i'll go to edit tab and then i'll select entity pictures click on it and now we are directed to this interface here we have to define the value of the picture that basically means for which picture we are editing it so let's see we see part we have created a new picture called picture dot part a so let's go ahead and select that first and over here we have different pictures that we can use however we want to create a new one so i'm just showing how to do that so just go ahead and click add so now we have this new empty tab However, the value has also gone. So make sure it's there, else Irina doesn't know for which picture it should reference this new picture. I'll double click on it, and then you'll be referred to this interface. So let's just use very simple uh, shapes for part A and part B. Let's say we'll be using a box. So let's just put a box here. And then automatically it's pink. However, I just want to show you, for say you don't want it to be pink, let's say you want some hatch line over here, or maybe uh, some uh, 
straight lines and so on you can do that however we want them we want our box to be filled that's why i select the second option here if i would have selected the first no matter it would have been white no matter what fill in color i select it will not get colored so make sure you select the right pattern all right for blue uh, for part a let's say it's of blue color and then we can even add text to our picture how to do that i'll select text from draw uh, toolbar and just write part a in addition i can change the font from here i'll just make it bold and make it a little larger click ok and then we will just paste it over here and now it says part a you can change this text color to select it and go over here text color let's just change it to white now it's it's white which is better uh, in contrast with the blue color all right so we created the picture for part a let's just close it you don't need to save if you close it see over here you have your picture of part a let's do the same thing let's go ahead and add a new box here in this list and give it a value for part b double click on it same way let's go ahead and create a box and let's color it um, green and let's go ahead and write part b inside all right part b okay and then go ahead and close this window so we have two pictures here okay. let's go ahead and click ok okay and then we'll go back to our set data module in set data module we have created a set for entity pictures now we are going to add the member for this in this set so let's click add and then we will select picture of part a picture of part a and then picture for part b all right so just remember one thing i'll write it over here that part a is referenced as one and part b is referenced as two i'll just put it here and the text color is white let's just make it black okay so it's over there just for our own reference then after we created that set and edited the entity picture we'll go back to our assign module double click on it and click end of list then click add we are assigning an attribute and the attribute name would be entity dot picture which is a built-in arena attribute we haven't created that but arena already does it for us in the value we'll go to build expression and then set we will select symbol number of member and then over the first argument is the set name which is my picture set that's the only set we have in our uh, model so it's automatically selected for us next is set index so we'll just index it as attribute value my part type all right so what does this mean this mean that after an attribute we will get its type then based on its type it will get a picture from a set called my picture set and this is basically telling arena that give me the picture that is in row one if it's part type a and give me the, the picture in row two if it's part type two let's click okay let's click okay let's click okay and then let's go ahead and 
save our file. And then we will run our model a little slower this time so that we can better visualize how parts are flowing in. So see the entity got in and then the first one was part A, part B. And then the second one was part A. And then we have another one and we have another one. We can slow it down a little bit. So part A got into, so there is one which is in working process. And then another part B is uh, coming in and so on. So if you want to put different picture, now you should get an idea how you can edit the entity picture. It will be very helpful, useful when we will develop animation for our system. All right.